Hello my fellow royal fans, welcome back to the channel. In today's top story, how Meghan Markle challenged royal protocol in 2019. Meghan Markle is rewriting the meaning of what it means to be a duchess. The former American actress who became the Duchess of Sussex when she married Britain's Prince Harry in May 2018 has endured a year of accomplishments and controversies as she took on her newest challenge, motherhood. Since becoming a member of the world's most famous royal family, the 38-year-old welcomed baby Archie in May of this year. But life as the royal has been far from smooth sailing, as Meghan's every move has been heavily scrutinised by the tabloids. And while the former suit star frequently stirred headlines in 2019, Meghan continues to pave her own ways as a duchess. Having a baby shower overseas. In February, Meghan stirred headlines when she flew out to New York City on a private jet for a lavish baby shower held at posh hotel The Mark. Royal commentator Victoria Arbiter told Fox News that while baby showers were an American tradition, the British monarchy had no trouble with the former American actress celebrating overseas. Not giving birth in the Lindo Wing In March, The Sun reported Meghan and Harry chose not to have their baby at the Lindo Wing of St. Mary's Hospital, the same spot where Princess Diana and Duchess of Cambridge Kate Middleton gave birth. Instead, sources claim the couple opted for a maternity unit closer to their home. Keeping her royal birth plans private In April, Meghan and Harry announced they were keeping their birth plan private and would publicly reveal details of their baby's arrival only after they'd celebrated together. This meant the public had to wait longer than expected to catch a glimpse of the royal baby. Ditching a royal title for her son In May, the royal couple introduced their son, Archie Harrison Mountbatten Windsor, to the world. But unlike his famous cousins, the baby has no royal title. Ms. Arbiter shared that it was very likely Harry and Markle wanted their son to have a sense of freedom and independence that did not come with carrying a royal title. Keeping her son's royal christening private In July, People magazine reported Meghan and Harry decided to keep Archie's royal christening a private affair. For a reported close-knit group of 25 people, the private affair also meant Meghan and Harry could celebrate this milestone as a family without glaring camera flashes. Keeping the names of her son's godparents a secret In July, the couple made headlines again when they decided not to reveal the names of Archie's godparents. However, a royal source told People magazine that not only were the new parents determined to protect the privacy of their son, but also the privacy of their friends and family. Speaking out in a documentary In October, Meghan candidly spoke out about the intense media scrutiny surrounding her relationship with her husband for the ITV documentary, Harry and Meghan, An African Journey, which chronicled her tour of Southern Africa. When being asked on how she was coping with the lack of privacy and ruthless tabloid rumours as a new parent, the former American actress said she took each day as it comes. The world went on to tell she would be more understanding about the scrutiny if it was fair. Fighting back against the tabloids in November, Meghan ditched the unspoken royal rule of never complain, never explain when she responded to several tabloid rumours that have played her time as a member of the royal family. According to court documents submitted by Meghan's lawyers in her legal case against Associated Newspaper, the Duchess of Sussex was fighting back against claims she refurbished her Frogmore Cottage home with expensive and unnecessary amenities. Skipping the holiday at Sandringham in November, a pal of the royal couple told Closer Weekly that Meghan and Harry were allegedly skipping the traditional holiday festivities of Sandringham and instead likely splitting six weeks between England and Los Angeles where Meghan's mother Doria Ragland resides. Wow, interesting state guys, but I think it makes her unique. Anyways, if you liked the video, hit the like button, leave your comments, tell me what you think about it all and don't forget to subscribe for more. Thank you for watching, Happy New Year and goodbye for now.